So how important is your bio and your profile on Clubhouse? It's very important y'all. Very, very, very important. So I'm giving you the scoop in today's video. So let's dive in and learn all things about Clubhouse bios and editing your profile. So when you first join Clubhouse, you are able to pick a handle. Your handle is the at whatever you choose. So mine is at Nicole Saunders. That's my handle. So if somebody goes and types in Nicole Saunders, they're going to find me very easily. I chose to go with my name because I'm a personal brand. For whatever reason, I decided I didn't want it to match my business name. I, I have Saunders underscore says on everything else, but for this platform, I really wanted it to be me. The one caveat to picking a at plant mom or whatever handle your business that you do. So if I was creating this now, I could have put at business coach or at introvert business coach, whatever, because that is going to outrank on search. So whatever your handle name outranks. So if I'm searching for Pinterest, there is a person with a handle Pinterest, and I don't think they work for Pinterest, but not my circus, not my monkeys. So um, you can search and it will show up by that. Your username is the at whatever. Again, that is different than your display name. Your display name is what shows up under your clubhouse profile picture when you're speaking, listening, on stage, on the app. So if you signed up and your display name is Dr. Nicole, I'm not a doctor by the way, just want to throw that out there. But if I put Dr. Nicole, doctor is what's going to show up on my display name. And here's the caveat. You have one chance and one chance only to change that display name. This is great for musicians and artists and performers. So if you have a stage name or people know you, if people knew me by DJ Nicole, I would have that. But people don't know me by, by DJ Nicole. I'm not a DJ. I'm not a doctor. All the things. But I have Nicole as my display name. So whatever your you want people to call you on the app. If you want people to call you doctor, or you want people to call you DJ, or you want people to call you funky turtle butt, whatever. Um, that display name, you can only change once. You can't change it all the time like you can on Instagram. Can't change it all the time like you can on Twitter or Facebook. You get one chance and one chance only. So use it wisely. I refuse to even get near that button because I don't want to accidentally change my display name because I'm afraid I'll change it and I'll do something wrong and it'll I'll never get it back. So one chance only to change that display name. The other thing about Clubhouse is they really want it to be for people, for users, for creators, not for businesses. Yes, we maybe business owners, entrepreneurs, and use the app every single day. That's great. But your display name should not be, if you were the owner of Starbucks or McDonald's, McDonald's, Starbucks, whatever. It should be you, your name as the person. They want people. This is a people to people platform. And Clubhouse has been very adamant about making sure people are aware of that as they are growing this platform every single day. Now, I mentioned you can only change your display name once. You can also only change your username once. So be careful with what you select. Again, you want it to represent you and you want to be able to be found in search results. So that's why I think for me, it just made the most sense to be basic and simple and stick with Nicole Saunders because I know people will be able to find me that way. And it's easy. Why make it complicated and harder than it needs to be? Let people find me as me. So let's talk about your profile picture. On my intro to Clubhouse, hottest social media app of 2021 video, I talked a little bit about this profile picture and how it needs to be a nice picture. The easiest way to pop on the platform because it is that ugly beige color um, is to have a bright color, solid color behind you. So you can easily, if you have Canva Pro, go and erase the background of any picture and just pop a solid color back there. 
I decided to go with my brand teal. You can go with any color that will help you stand out. I know like pinks and greens and reds and purples. Those, I've seen those and those have been very bright and done great. Um, you want to be memorable. So when people see that profile picture, they want, you know, make them remember who you are. Here's the thing. When you are creating your profile picture, it doesn't have to be a professionally taken photo. It can be simple, selfie, you know, just make sure you look good and memorable. So you want to entice people to click on your picture because if they click on your picture, they're going to see your bio. Well, they're going to see the first three lines of your bio, which are very, very important. I'll get to that in a minute, but you want to entice people to click on your picture so they'll see your bio. It makes sense, right? Attract them with that picture. This is your first like introduction on the platform. So again, as they always say, first impressions matter. Um, and this, you know, people say don't judge a book by its cover, but they do. So let your cover of your book be amazing. So they want to click on it and read it. If you want to change your profile picture, it's very easy. You literally, and I will show y'all right now how to do it on here. So I'm going to pull up my self. I'm going to tap that. Okay. And then I'm going to tap that. And then I'm going to tap pick from library. So I'm going to pick and I have this saved in my favorites. So I'm going to my favorites and I'm going to tap listening mode. So this is a hack that you can do if you want to swap out pictures. Sometimes I've been in plant groups and they're like, show us your favorite plant because you, there's no pictures. You can't show people all the things like you can on Instagram. This is audio only. So this is the best way to change that out. So um, there is a room I go into. It's every day, Monday through Friday, and it's a coffee versus tea room. So she'll have the host, Rita. She's amazing. We'll have people switch out their profile picture on the app to show whether you are a coffee drinker or a tea drinker. Um, I really love the listening only mode hack because if I'm at the gym or I'm shopping or I'm at a place where I just can't interact with the conversation, I put on that listening only mode because people will recognize like, oh, she can't come to the stage right now, which is a good use of that profile picture. Again, it's so easy to swap those pictures out. And if you remind people, if you're a moderator, that PTR pull to refresh, when you're doing that, you can see like, hey, everybody, welcome to Nicole's plant room. Are we, show us your favorite plant in your profile picture. Once you do that, pull to refresh so you can see all these new pictures. I've been in dog rooms where we do that. We show off our favorite pictures of our dogs, which I have so many. But yeah, it's a fun way to kind of show more of who you are and your personality with your profile picture in specific rooms. As I mentioned before, those first three lines of your bio are huge. Very, very important, y'all. This is the hook where you're going to get people to view the rest of your profile, right? So, and I, when I say lines, I don't mean like line of text, space, line of text, space, line of text. That would be like five lines. It means line, period. So whether you've spaced down or not, those three lines are huge. So you're going to give them who you are, what you do, very succinctly give them that hook so they want to click view more and scroll on your profile. Here's the thing. Don't waste that space to be like click more. Everybody knows to click more on the app. Don't waste it to say hey click more scroll down blah blah blah. So if I'm on the app right now my first three lines are business mentor and strategist emoji green leaf because emojis are searchable on clubhouse for women pipe bar, clubhouse queen emoji, because my friends call me the clubhouse queen. It makes the most sense because here I am. Keep talking about all clubhouse because I love the clubhouse. Um, empowering entrepreneurs to scale through personality and strengths based business. Da da da. So people know that I am a business coach for female identifying entrepreneurs because I use women with an X and I love clubhouse. So um, it's important that you you describe, you give them all the things that you do very clearly and succinctly. This is like the pitch, right? So you want to hook them in so they'll scroll up and see everything else. And those first three lines of your bio, y'all, are searchable. 
So it's important because it kind of helps your clubhouse SEO. If people go over there and they search business mentor, well, I'm going to show up. And that is huge because I want people to see me. This for me is a business builder. I don't go on clubhouse and just play around. Clubhouse for me is creating connections and creating relationships and getting people over to my Instagram so they can see even more of me. And they're going to know, like trust and fall in love with me. And they're going to hire me. And I want you to be able to do the same thing. That's why I am making all of these videos about Clubhouse. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can keep up with all the videos that I'm going to be creating this year in 2021. Now, once you have your profile picture and your bio and your username and your display name, and that is all amazing, what you want to do is make sure you connect your Instagram or Twitter or both. I... I'm a fan of only the Instagram because y'all Twitter for me is so 2010. I think I don't even know what year it's like 2008. I don't know. I haven't used it in a long time. I try to, I try, I try, I try the Twitter. We just, we, it, I don't know. <sighs> so that's how I feel about Twitter. I had it connected at one point and then realized if people go to connect with me on Twitter, I'm not active on there. I'm not checking it. So I'm doing myself a disservice. So I want to send people to my Instagram. The other thing about Instagram, y'all, is if you decide you want to run ads to Facebook and Instagram, you can do that. You can retarget them because the pixels, hello. So it makes the most sense. Send them to Instagram. So connect your Instagram I don't care if you forgot your password, whatever, figure it out because people are not going to connect with you over there if you don't have it connected. I don't care if you have it typed in your bio. People are lazy. I am lazy and I ain't going to type it in. So make it easy for people so they can click and go to your profile and get over there. That is how you are going to continue to see results, build your business and create connections off of Clubhouse. Y'all, that's huge and you need to do it. So that's all the things y'all about your bio and why you need to have an amazing bio, profile picture, username, display name, like make it easy for people to find you and want to know more about you. So if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up because I'm kind of not sure if the thumbs up feature is working. So please give me a thumbs up so I can see if it's working. And if you have any questions about Clubhouse whatsoever, please drop them in the comments because this helps me create more videos that will help you as you are getting active and involved and using Clubhouse to grow your business. So yeah, I will see y'all on Clubhouse. Make sure you come over and follow me. I am at Nicole Saunders. I will put that down in the description of this video. I can't wait to see y'all over there and connect and just celebrate you on Clubhouse. And yeah, I will see y'all in the next one. Bye y'all.